blog, It's Tough for Low Income Kids, Especially Girls to Participate in Sports, by Bob Cook has helped me with my project because it has informed me about the facts about poor people not being able to play sports. Even if these poor people can play these sports, they are already at a disadvantage because they can't afford the equipment. To show how hard it is for poor people to play sports, one Pennsylvania city had to combine all three of its sports programs into one. This made it a lot harder to play because there are more kids that you have to compete with. The team had to combine was all due to the city wanting to save money. In London, Kentucky, one kid wasn't allowed to play basketball because his family wasn't able to support him financially. So another family took him into their home to let him play basketball and attend the school next to them. Because his parents didn't live in that city, he wasn't allowed to play, to play on that team. This is another story of how underprivileged kids are at a disadvantage playing sports. A video posted by CBS News has also helped me because it informed me about my topic. It states that middle and upper class numbers are rising in sports and lower cut class numbers are declining. The average family spends about $700 a year on traveling, lessons, and equipment. Some families spend as much as $35,000 a year on their kids to play between clinics and personal trainers. These families who can't afford to pay this much money are at a disadvantage. Parents who think their kids could play sports in college are willing to spend a lot more money on lessons and personal trainers. While one of five sports parents think their kids has the potential to get a scholarship to play in college, only one in ten ac athletes actually get a scholarship to play. Sports are also a f way of physical activity and less fortunate people don't have that chance. The article, Involvement with Equipment Components of Sports, Links to Recreational Equipment by Peter Block has helped me with my project because it has told me that having experience is not necessary to run and drive, but commitment is a lot more important than experience. Also, it says that knowledge of the equipment you are handing out is very good, which is good because I know a lot about sports. This article helped me also because it reassured me that this wasn't going to be too hard for me to get the equipment handed out. All three of these articles and videos helped me with my project because it helped me get started and reassured me that it wasn't going to be too tough for me to do. It also helped me start my project because it, I really didn't know where to start.